Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, no matter where you are in the world. This is Howie, and I'm here to help you win with money. Today is May 21, 2021. This is week number 20 of the trading year. Again, this is week number 20. I'm going to show you some of the option trades that I'm going to do. But before I do so, join Facebook group Investing 102 if you want to level up your investment thinking. In the future, I'm starting to put more files out here. All the videos where I use Excel, I may just put the files out here so you can just download the same files that I'm using. And let's take a quick look at the markets. I'm waiting for the charts to open. You see it's open green and now NASDAQ looks like it's down trending, which is okay. I'm just going to maybe manage a few positions and reposition some of my moves for let's say the next three or four weeks. So let's go straight to E-Trade. So here's the first thing I want to do. I want to open a new iron condor. So what I wanted to show you was what I'm looking at. I'm looking at a July 2nd um, expiration. And here's what I'm looking at, a 441 and a 381. So I'll show you what the odds are for those. Go into Power E-Trade here, put in the SPY, make sure I select the right date, 42 days to expiration. And on the low side is this 381 here. I'm looking at a 5% chance of happening with a 15, it's a minus 15 delta, which is a still high risk move. But I think with enough time, you can manage this and close it out way before it gets anywhere near like, let's say 395 or something like that. And on the upside, I'm gonna not go too far out on the upside because I'm willing to take more risk. So on this side, I'm gonna go with a, they call it a 13% uh, a chance of happening. But if you look at the delta, it's actually thinking it's only an 8, per eight delta. So I'm taking a little bit more risk. I may want to even move up to free, maybe a free 39. I don't know. I may go with one of these higher deltas one because I want to collect a little bit more premium. So that's what I'm looking at. So I decided to move it up a little bit and we'll try the free 49. I will make more money on my 401k plan. I, I could lose on this option bet, but I'm okay with that. Sometimes that is the strategy that I use is use this as a slight hedge. And if I'm wrong on this, I'll make money on my 401k plan. Okay, and just like that, the six one across. And then I actually end up closing my June four one. So I made profit on that. What's a small profit, wasn't a lot. And then I opened a new one for another credit. Here's another move that I have. I have an iron condor with a short call for 445 on June 25th. That's about 30 some odd days away. I'm gonna roll this a little bit closer and I know this is a little bit weird. Why not just let time go out? I wanna play it because I'm okay with the S&P hitting new highs. So the S&P highs right now are at 422. So in order to hit 438, it would need either three or four days more of new highs. So that's the risk I am willing to take, but you see the premium, I will collect another $300. Okay, I took a little break and then I did another trade because I noticed something weird. I made one, as I was rolling down my iron condor, I made one of them $15 wide by accident and it took another, I think I had 11 contracts. So you times 11 times another 500, so it took another $5,500 of buying power out. So I had to go fix that, and that's what I end up doing here. So I moved it down from a 452 down to a 448. So I had to fix that bad trade. So here's another trade that I was thinking about doing. And again, markets are up right now. They're running out of time. There's about 17 days left to expiration. I'm letting this ride longer than it normally does. And I want to do something. This is sort of the untested side, but the untested side has a lot more um, implied volatility on this side. The call side does not. So I'm going to show you what I'm going to do here. And a quick look at the odds. Make sure you use S&P 500 here. The only thing I need to do is toggle the right date. So I think it's right here. I think it's a June 17. I mean June 7, 17 days. So here's my current odds. So when I created this couple weeks ago the odds were much higher. It wasn't 1%, but the delta is still at a negative nine. So what I wanna do is move it up to a point where the odds are still out of range, but yet I wanna collect some premium. And so based on this, 
it's a 415 if you do the math I'm over 25 points away so what I want to do is maybe move it up to here either here it's a minus 11 Delta or minus 12 Delta I don't think I want to move it this far if you move it this far and if the markets drop all you need is one big two or three percent drop and then you're at risk so there is some logic to say look even if you're gonna take a high risk move like this make sure you do it with caution and say how much money is it worth it so again I'm gonna look at something like here or here free nine free 93 or free 94 and I'll show you what that looks like in terms of premium on the free 93 it's a uh, it's about six cents times eight minus all the commissions right so that's one way you got to look at it let's move it up one penny and see what it looks like if you move that up one dollar you got to move this one up one dollar so you see this one is about 10 to 13 you know I I, I don't know how I want to play this because I only want to play this for another week because it's 17 days left I don't want to really run it all the way into the to the end the only problem I have with doing this here is let's so I have to pick one I don't think this one's going to be worth it actually if it's for seven cents eight cents maybe I'll, I'll, I'll play around with it and I'll see what I end up deciding and there you go the trade went across I decided to go with the 194 and I did collect a small premium again it's not a lot but I'm okay with it I think it was um, nine cents or ten cents per contract okay the markets closed S&P ended down today Dow is up Nasdaq is down that's all for today hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to hit the like subscribe button let me know how you're doing and don't forget let's do this together let's do this one dollar at a time as always have a profitable day bye bye